Hi, it's great to have you stop in. Even if you don't change the oil yourself on your Jeep, it's good to be able to see what you're paying for when you head to your local mechanic or your local dealership to have them do it for you. It's really not that difficult, but it does mean getting underneath the vehicle, and sometimes the hardest part of it is just getting the drain plug off or removing the oil filter. But in today's vehicles, these oil filters are generally front and center, right in the engine bay, and I'm finding it much, much easier to do things yourself because of that. So you might want to consider it, give the video a watch, make your own judgment what you think. I always make sure I clean off the tops of the bottles as well. Also, before I start pouring, I'm making sure that that plug was in. You don't want to be pouring it in and have it come right out the bottom. I also like to do a slow pour of each of them so there's no way it backflows out.
And of course, it's a good chance to just check everything else and try to give just try to give the belt a look. It's kind of hard to see the belt in here, um, but just kind of give everything a once over. Check the coolant levels, windshield washer fluid level, brake fluid level. I'll give a quick glance at the transmission fluid and the power steering fluid is over here. Transmission fluid you actually want to check when the engine is running usually, so same thing with the power steering fluid. The Amsoil XL 5W20, it's good for 12,000 miles or one year, whichever comes sooner. I'm Jim with the Works Isle channel. It's really been great having you here. I hope you'll stick around. Give me your comments down below.